Meditation is one of the ways of creating happiness. We tend to think of happiness as coming from things outside, situations outside being the way we want them to. But the Buddha found that the sources for true happiness and for suffering come from within. So we want to look within. As you go through the day, you have other things distracting you, but right now you can settle down and be still. Focus inside. Look at your mind. And you'll see how changeable it is. So you tie it down to something so it gets used to not changing. Tie it down to the breath. Of course, the word tying down sounds a little bit restrictive, but in the beginning you do have to restrict it. Ajahn Mahabha's image for meditation is putting a fence around the mind. At first we may look not like the idea of a fence, we don't want to roam around as we like. But it's when the mind is fenced in that it realizes oh, it's got to find its sources for true happiness here inside the fence. It's forced to pay attention to potentials that are here that it's overlooked. And that's when you find there's something good. You've got the breath here, you can make it really comfortable. Breathe in a way that feels refreshing to the different parts of the body. The muscles of the shoulders, the muscles of the chest, the abdomen. all around the body. As you breathe in, breathe out. What kind of breathing would feel full, refreshing? You want to be able to create refreshment from inside. So here's your batch of raw materials, and the Buddha teaches you the skills. Now it's simply a question of applying the skills to the materials, to what you've got. So you can take advantage of these potentials. There's the potential for all kinds of knowledge, all kinds of well-being inside. But because our attention tends to be focused outside, we don't put the energy into developing our own inner potentials. But when you're fenced in like this, then you realize this is it. So pay attention right here, and you'll find that the potentials inside are much more rewarding than the potentials outside. And if you can take care of the mind's tendency to create suffering for itself, then things outside don't have to impinge on the mind at all. So look inside. Explore inside. The Buddha gives you his road map. As he says, he's the one who points out the way it's up to us to follow. So explore around inside. There's lots to find. There's lots to know. And this is just one of the ways of finding happiness. The Buddha also talks about generosity and virtue. Those are related to things outside, but they develop good qualities in the mind. So when the mind has developed these good qualities, and when the time comes to settle down, you've got a good place to settle down. There's a sense of self-worth here, a sense of competence, a part of the mind that, even though there's a fence around it, doesn't feel bound in. That's what you want to develop, and the potential for it is right here.